What's going on YouTube? It's Brian with WT Vapes. Today, we'll be going down and looking at the Serpent SMM designed by Matt from Something on Mod, manufactured by Watofo. We'll go down, see what comes in the package, and I'll throw a build in it and wick it and all that stuff. Um, I actually put a picture of the build that I'm going to be putting in it at the beginning of the video, so sure you've seen that um before we go any farther make sure and visit kasa.org um, we all need to do our part the fight is nowhere near over so we all need to do our part just keep pushing we need to keep pushing the harder the better the way i look at it but anyways we'll go down build it wicked go through the packaging come back up they on it and actually talk about the RTA itself, since that's why we're here. Here we are with the Serpent SMM, designed by Matt from Something on Mod. This will be what it'll come in. Have Serpent SMM on the front, and the warning that this product contains nicotine which there is no nicotine in this box then on this side which I like it has Casa and Safado and then their websites so I think that's pretty cool and on the back I have everything that comes in the packaging and pause and read that if you would like on this side you really don't have anything barcode that's about it on the bottom you'll have your little scratch and sniff authenticity checker then the color which mine is stainless steel if it's if you get a black one it'll be black there and um now they have the rainbow and I believe a blue and a gold one maybe something like that I know there's a couple other colors and on the top stainless steel for stainless steel and then for Tofo open it up it slides out like that and then you'll have a card for a chance to win a t-shirt then like a little user manual thing here showing you how to build and wick it and all that fun stuff which we'll do in the video and it's in quite a few different languages so that's pretty neat this is the packaging and you will notice that one of the glasses are missing and that was pretty much my fault I dropped it and yeah dropped it so the glass busted so I had to use one of the replacement glasses which they do give two of them so I've dropped it once and broke the glass and unused one so I still have one extra the main star to show is right here which we'll talk about in just a minute and you have your 510 Ultim drip tip and then another spare glass like I said your packaging will have two I've already had to use one let's take this out and we'll have a screwdriver, the Phillips head screwdriver. And I've already opened all three of these, but yeah. And one, you'll get cotton. This one, or one of the other ones, will have all your O rings, which you see down there, and then some post screws. And then in another one, you will have three coils which look to be 
maybe triple or quad core fuse claptons. If I can get this camera to pick it up. They are nice coils as far as coming from coming in the packaging. I believe it's quad core. Maybe like a 28 gauge, if not a little thinner, with like 42 gauge Clapton wrap. It's pretty nice that they include three of them. All this stuff back in here. That's pretty much your packaging. There. Then here is the star of the show. You see on the chamber there it says serpent smm and on this side is a smm logo which i like down here you'll have your airflow control and what you do on one side is the same on the other and it stops and locks fully open and locks fully closed and it is removable for ease of cleaning and all that. And the O-rings do have a good tension on them. You, I mean, you're not going to have this on your mod and it's just going to free spin like really easy or anything. It does take a little bit of force to move it. Not too much, but a little bit. Get the calipers out real quick and take a measure measurement on the height of it zero this out the measurement on the height without the drip tip from the base without the drip tip 32.0 32 millimeters tall and the diameter is 24.1, might as just say 24 millimeters in diameter. And open these. Share that back out, okay. Airflow looks to be right at 10 millimeters by make sure it's zeroed back out. Okay. Let's say 10 millimeters by 1.8 millimeters. And then your inner diameter of the chimney. If I can get the calipers to zero back out. Okay. It's going to be 5.8 millimeters on the inner diameter of the chimney. Take the top cap off. Here you have your top cap, and if you see, there is an o-ring there and an o-ring there to help seal everything up once you screw it down. Everything's nice machining and everything, it's good machining, threads are good. Here you have your fill holes here on this side. And one on this side. And then of course that is your chimney. Do not put e-liquid down in your chimney. Nice big juice fill ports. Go ahead and unscrew. 
pop the glass off real quick. Just like that. Then all this, your chamber and the top fill ports and everything is one piece. It's got a nice little conical shape in there. So all that is one piece. And everything's good machining on everything. I have no complaints. I would recommend washing it before using it as soon as you get it in. Take it out and wash it and put in an ultrasonic cleaner if you have one. Set that there. Here is the deck. It is single coil. And I like the way Matt from something on my design this. It's got two post screws on each post that way pretty much if you wrap your wire or coils clockwise or counterclockwise it doesn't matter I, I mean you have two post holes on each terminal so either way you can throw it in there then your airflow is going to come in from down here and come straight up your post and then come out there and there. Which I think is a pretty good design too as well. And this is your cotton holes where your or your wick holes and everything. We'll get a measurement on that real quick. Because I'm curious. My calibers will work right. Zero it out. And that is 4.3 millimeters. You do that. Yeah, 4.2 millimeters in diameter for your wick holes. And if you look, everything below the build deck is pretty much milled out. So it's kind of like your build deck is kind of not floating up here but it is everything is milled out down here that way you'll have quite a bit of juice down there actually probably about a meal of juice down there and of course you can tell this is your positive post from the peak insulator right here running through there and then dividing it from the negative post and it is separate from the rest of the tank and build deck your negative post is milled into the build deck, as you can see there. My lighting wasn't crap, but hopefully you can see that good enough. You can remove the 510 pin, which I believe is probably, I know it's gold plated, but I'm sure it's probably gold plated copper, possibly. But you can remove that and remove the positive post, but that's if you really 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 want to thoroughly clean it but I've not had no use in to having to remove it or anything so but with that being said I will throw it on my build stand here that I got uh, over a year ago probably from Tenderfoot oh, sorry for bumping the camera got this from Tenderfoot stands on Facebook if I can find a link or whatnot to him I'll put it in the description below but he makes some nice build stands I love it we'll throw coal in it I'm gonna throw this coal here that I made up can't really get a good shot of it here but I'll try to get a still picture of it and put it in the video somewhere maybe at the start of the video Unscrew your post screws. Like I said, whichever way you want to do it, either you can do it like this, or if you wanted to, you could run it like that. I'm just going to throw it in there just like that. Of course, it's going to be aggravating on camera. There we go. 
this thing it is easy to build on it's just a little aggravating on camera trying to make sure you get everything in the shot sorry guys I know I'm not the most professional at doing this tighten that side down like so and then like I mean that side just pretty much hit a focus and that side pretty much just fell in there by itself just kind of pull it just a little bit center it up after I get it tightened down they down just like so just like that take snips I like the way he made the post flat here too that way you can get your snips on it I'll put my finger there snip that off throw it away make sure that don't end up on the floor and I know it might look look like crap now but it'll look good by the time I'm done it just a little bit there just like that move over just a little bit and this is about a 3.5 millimeter inner diameter Get about like that. It is pretty close. I would not recommend anything over a 3.5 inner diameter. Lower it down a little bit. About like that. That way, I like to try to get it to where that bottom airflow there is coming in pretty much directly up under the coil. And then it'll come up just like it pretty much is. And then that side airflow will pretty much hit. Bang on the center of the coil. Maybe a little low, but that's just because this coil's kind of big. Now I'll throw it on the mod. Sorry for bumping the camera. is okay I'll take this just run it through the middle that way make sure she's 
firing evenly. I'm going to space this out on this side just a little bit. I like that. I like it. I like space coils, preferably. Make sure there's nothing, no hot spots going on or anything. And that's pretty good. Let it cool down for a second. We'll get some cotton bacon version two, which is what I love to use. I've been using it for a year now, probably. And that's just what I like to use. I just try to get me a strip. Like I said, this coil is close to a, I wrapped it around a three millimeter bit, but it's springy wire. So it kind of made itself just a little bigger than that. So it's not quite 3.5, but it's a little bigger than three closer to 3.5 though but just pull it through I like to make sure it's pretty snug That's pretty good there. I like to have it a little snug. Not too, too. Not tight, but just snug. And I just come to the edge of the tank itself. I'll hold it there. The scissors are kind of dull. Snip that off. Go to the other side here the edge of the tank itself snip it off and I like to take something pointy just kind of comb it out a little bit I like to try to come from the bottom as well on it out. Do the same on this side. scissors and kind of dress it up just a little bit looks pretty good and I like to try to Sorry for not going off camera there. You see the wick hole down here below it. I like to try to just get it started going down in that wick hole. You don't have to have it like touching all the way down here at the bottom. You don't have to have that. I just like it poking through just a little bit. And I also try to like to keep it to where it's kind of like a wall here where it's not, I don't know, where it's not like that to where there's a gap for the airflow to escape. I like to try to leave it where it's like a wall kind of blocking the air and that's pretty much walling the air off to where it's going to stay in here at your coil it's going to isolate itself to the coil and then come up through the chimney and into your mouth hole 
and make beautiful, beautiful flavor. So I'll lightly pack it in that hole, like so. pretty good see how it's just barely poking through that wick hole there that should be pretty much the same thing on this side it's just barely poking through probably could have a little more poking through on this side but y'all get the idea of what I'm going for so that's pretty much it now Little wicker, I meant the wicker juicer up, which is actually some uh, Addy's yogurt from Adore e liquid to concentrate. I have mixed up in this bottle. I'll throw a little bit of this on it. If y'all ain't tried no Adore e liquid yet, you need to do so. Fantastic e liquid. All right, so now she's wicked and ready to go. I'll throw the top piece, the chamber, and the glass on. I always take the top cap, top cap, or whatever you want to call it, off. That way, it's just the chimney and chamber and the glass. And screw it on. Get that pretty snug and the reason I like to put this on separate from this is that way whenever I go to refill it 90% of the time this will screw off by itself and not screw the whole chimney and glass piece and everything off now fill her up That's pretty much it guys, throw your top cap on. And your drip tip. And just like that, she's ready to rumble. All right guys, I'll see you up there. So that was the unpackaging and build wick tutorial or whatever you want to call it that's up to you whatever you want to call it anyways about the rta um to me i for a single coil rta which i like single coil that's less i have to worry about doing less um, i mean just one thing less that i don't have to worry about doing period i mean I got three kids, full-time job, working 50 odd hours a freaking week, so it's just one less thing I have to worry about doing, so I like that it's a single coil RTA, and it's nice and short, I mean, it holds four meals of e-liquid, it ain't got no crazy knurling like on the top cap or the AFC ring, it ain't got no 
crazy gnarling on it. I mean, it's just nice, simplistic RTA. I mean, I like it. The only thing that I have to complain about is if you don't get the wicking just right, whenever you go to refill it, I've noticed that I've got some spit back out of it for like the first five to eight pulls out of it maybe. I'll get a little bit of spit back out of it. But after you vape through that, I guess you would call it residual juice that got in there from taking a cop cap off and filling it up and everything and then the back pressure of screwing the cap back on. After you vape through it, five, eight pulls, that's over with. And other than that, that's pretty much the only con I got for it. I mean, it accepts 510 drip tips. I have a signature tips drip tip on there right now that I actually picked up from hitthatjuice.com. I'll put a link in the description. Put a link in the description to the e-liquid I am vaping on, which is from Door e-liquid. Um, that's really the only con I got with it. I mean, I get a little bit of spit back if I don't have it wick just right. Like, the wicking I've done on it now, I've been vaping on it for about a day since I actually wicked it from what y'all just seen. So, I don't, I, I ain't had no spit back on it whenever I refill it, but the wicking job I've done before that, I've done a little light on the cotton, so it spit back a little bit, and like I said, about five to eight pulls, and then it was over with. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you, I have got a little bit of spit back as soon as I refilled it, but after, like I said, you vape through it, and it's gone. And other than that, I mean, that's, really, I don't have anything else to complain about. Somebody, people might complain that it don't take 810 drip tips, but it's a single coil RTA. Why do you need an 810 drip tip on a single coil RTA? You're not going to be utilizing that much airflow, so there's no sense in it. He does, Matt designed a nice single coil RTA. I mean, it, it, it's nice. It vapes great. I vape it about halfway as far as the airflow go, goes. I vape it about halfway. And it's a nice, restricted, warm vape. And you could cut it down. I wouldn't say you could get a proper mouth to long off of it, I wouldn't say, but you can cut it down and get a really tight, restricted hit off of it. But I like it about halfway, my personal preference. That's just where I like it. And other than that, I mean, I've been, excuse me, I'm sorry. I've been using it for probably a month now. Build it probably six, six maybe seven times within that month span and re-wicked it twice that many times so and most of the time i can get the wicking right to where i don't get spit back but there's been a few times in there that i've not quite put enough cotton like i said you don't want to stuff it down in the wick holes but you want it to be a, you want a good restriction down in the wick holes. You don't want it to be stuffed down in there, but you do want it, you want the wick holes to be filled up, I mean, but you don't want it to be stuffed down in there. And you should be good. You shouldn't get no spit back or anything like that. And, but to me, for a single coil RTA, it's one of my favorite single coil RTAs that I've used to date, so. With that being said, guys, make sure to check me out on Instagram, WT Vapes. Subscribe, like, dislike. So, that being said, guys, 
I'm gonna get out of here. Like, take a swallow out of my sippy cup.